Hi, this is Tanya from No Foot Tarot, back with the daily cards for the 18th of August 2017. How are you all doing? <coughs> bit of a bit of a strange feeling uh, today. I, the, I'm doing these a little bit later because I needed to just spend time with my thoughts. There was a lot coming through this morning. I'd done very powerful meditation, which was like, wow, it was just so many purples and greens and everything just like engulfing me it was really really powerful and i was like right okay something is up there is a lot of connecting and there is a lot of love needed as well and there was a lot of stuff coming through about the way the world is at the moment as well um and like i say if we can just all send love to the victims in barcelona from yesterday one of my favorite cities in the world the most beautiful i had ever massively life-changing moment in in barcelona so it's very dear to my heart and also like i say it's uh it's not just barcelona it's it's what's happening all over the world okay so um the cards today reflect that they're they're, they're quite interesting but i really feel this is more on like a personal level as well um the card that i pulled i'm using the top deck this week you know i'm i be a little bit pleased to put these away after today to be honest um but the card that we've got today is the two of swords now the two of swords in the top is very different to the two of swords in the tarot okay and i like it better in this is what it's one of the only cards that i like better in the in the top deck rather than the traditional tarot and this is a card or uh, and um, it's two of swords and it actually says peace now this is talking about inner peace and if when we are in a place of inner peace it is saying that is when we have the power to make decisions you know and what this is saying is that there is a decision that needs to be made or you are ready now to make a decision um which will bring you spiritual peace okay so it's like when we look at that you know it's like a readiness for love this is what the card is saying we have the little sort of lotus in the middle there you know and it's it's spreading out but it's not like you know it's not like a three of swords where there's blood dripping off the sword and everything like that so this is a deeply deeply spiritual card and this talks about you being ready for love and ready for the realization you know of love rather than actually carrying on this struggle now this is quite interesting because this week has been pointing a lot to that so there is something happening you know and it is very very low face like i say within my meditation today so many greens you know were coming in which is all sort of um up the uh, the heart chakra you know and when we open our heart when we work on our heart chakra um this sort of penetrates our whole being you know it, it is if you think this is where our life actually comes from they're saying there you know if our, our heart wasn't beaten we wouldn't be here so you know our heart is a massively like our most important organ and we need to use it properly and we need to give that the nourishment that it needs as well and that is by allowing it to work in the way it wants to by giving love out but also receiving love in this is so strange the way these cards are working this week um and like i say you know the way the world is today is it's it's not a pretty place in some areas but there is there is so much good around you know and when anything bad like this happens i always say look for the helpers you know look for the people that are helping look at the people that come together and put your focus on them you know rather than the people that actually do these atrocious atrocious acts you know because the thing is given that is given them power if we put their, our thoughts towards them um that is given them power and we don't want to give them any you know they're small little small minded beings you know who are deeply deeply disturbed um and we need to focus on the love and we need to focus on the healing of this world as well when i pulled these cards this morning i got the song um something's happening here what it is ain't exactly clear and it's a song called uh, by buffalo springfield i think for and it's for what it's worth and it was all about the vietnam war and how you know everybody is fighting in this conflict and you know when we fight for peace we will not get peace we need to peace for peace you know and um, last night i i watched uh the 
Vice documentary on the Charlottesville um, issue that, that happened last weekend. And what touched me more was the hate in the people's faces. The hate for these strangers who they didn't even know, but just because they were a little bit different than them. But probably if you strip their DNA down and everything, you know, they were probably more alike than, than what they actually thought. But they also showed the Antifa as well. And, you know, they are there fighting the fascists. But they are fighting the fascists. They are using aggression. And they are, you know, they are terrorists in their own right. Okay, so that doesn't work. You know, hate mixed with hate just, you know, spreads pain and bloodshed. You know, so what we need to do is we need to try and educate these people and we need to come from a place of love around them and in it for every situation in the world because these people that have this much hate inside of them are really when you look at it they're filled with fear they're filled with fear that somebody different is going to come over and take what is theirs you know in the same way that they have done to people throughout this world you know and it's it's you know by being in fear this instills hate by being in love this instills peace and i'm not talking just about the world here i'm talking about your world and the world that you inhabit as well you know i found a quote today which really made me smile and it's by a guy called ian thomas and it says and every day the world will drag you by the hand yelling this is important and this is important and this is important you need to worry about this and this and this and each day it's up to you to yank your hand back, put it onto your heart and say, no, this is what's important. And this message, sorry, the energy's coming through with this today. Um, it started, like I say, it started as soon as I woke up this morning. Um, but it's this is what this card is saying. And it's, you know, when you have peace within yourself, you are then more inclined to put peace into the world as well. So this is talking about you know combining our energies from a love base as well and this will help reorganize you know and and sort of shift make a shift as well you know <coughs> because when you are when you have clarity you know when you have peace of mind you have clarity so nothing is going to disturb that inner peace no matter what goes on in the world and like i say it's very hard to to choose the path of love when you're seeing all of this hate, you know, but it, by buying into it, this is what sort of makes us unhappy, you know, and makes us sort of a victim of hate as well. When we are hating, we are a victim, you know. So when, sorry, what are they saying there? Right, okay. So what they're saying here is look at areas within your life where you have hate or you feel that you have been wrong this could have been somebody that done this yesterday to you it may have been 20 years ago but look at where you are hanging on to that pain pain and where you cannot offer forgiveness and you cannot offer love to the situation you know because that is hurting you that person might not even be in your life now but they're continuing to hurt you because you are trying to fight against it and you are filled with hate just try today to open that center up your heart center and try to release them with love okay take that part of them that is in your heart and release them you know because they're still in your heart if you hate it is because you loved you know so like i say release them make space in that heart center for something that is going to give you back and not cause you pain if we look at the situation, look at the situation, you know, um, from where you are, you know, whatever situation it is that you are holding on to that is causing you pain and rise a little bit above it. Imagine you're a bird, something like an albatross or something like that beautiful white bird, big, big wings, you know, and you're floating high. So come up against that uh, problem and look at it again, right? It doesn't look that big and go up a little bit further and imagine this visualize this in your head and then up a bit further and you will see that this problem is minute and you will see that this problem that could have caused you years of anguish you can just get rid of it 
because you can fly above it you can raise your vibration and see it from a loving place rather than a place of hate because hate will only hurt you you know it's a really really strange feeling coming through with these cards as well but it's talking about what inspiration are you getting at the minute what ideas are coming to you you know pay attention to them the, the energy at the moment is very 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 strong you know and you need to be able to or like orientate yourself in order to like you know these times of doubt these times of confusion these times when it's all chaotic in the world if you have this inner peace you know then you can actually sort of teach other people how to deal with this as well they will look at you and say how do you do it you say it because i said love to the situation you know and this is what is massively needed so this is saying we need to climb high we need to get a different perspective on things as well any emotional difficulties that we're having at the moment you know because when we are in conflict with somebody else we are in conflict in the mind we are in conflict in the body our body goes tense you know when we are in a place of fear or hate we are tense our face scrunches up you could see it in this documentary last night you know like Roald Dahl says, if you have good thoughts, they will shine out of your face all the time and you will always look lovely. And you can see it. I can spot people in the street. I can spot people I talk to. I can see the ones that are holding on to bitterness and I can see the ones that have opened themselves up to love. And it doesn't matter how old they are or how good looking they are or whatever. The ones that are opened up to love have this different beauty it's you can't put your finger on it you know if you could bottle it max factor would make make a fortune but you can it because it comes from within and every single one of us has that inside of us we just need to start using it so when we see the center of this conflict and see where it is we're coming from it's not the externals it's not what's happened or what anybody's done to us or whatever when we look right into the core of that right into that place you know right in that place where them swords are um piercing and we see the reason why they do done that okay or why that had to happen to us and we will see that that came from a place of fear within them there was something that they were scared there was something about us that made them feel threatened and they had to do what they had to do or there was something that had happened in that person's life that they hadn't let go of you know so understand it when you understand it then you know you can let it go you know because why carry it around with you why carry pain around with you you know put it down that's it it's so easy to do and this is what you choose this is a choice you know and you have a choice to choose every single day like he said you know do you want to sit and worry or do you want to say no i'm coming from a hard place and even if you know this place is horrible and it's really getting me down with what's happening you look for that one thing that you know uh, makes me smile i got a lovely a couple of lovely messages yesterday of people saying that they loved it when i smiled when the dogs came over to me but that's it you know go with animals go outside with animals you know go into nature for a second Go and see a newborn baby go and watch children playing you know something that is 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 beautiful and simple and real none of this that's going on is real you know it's just people fighting for power because they're scared and unloved you know i'm not going to name names but there is somebody there that needs so much love and was never given it you know they might have been given gifts and had everything they wanted but really they're crying out for love and that is why this need for power and control is there as well you know so instead of wallowing in our pain you know instead of getting really deep in any negativity or in our feelings let them go and let love in because this is saying that any painful situation you have at the moment can be healed you just need to 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 let it go and then say heal thyself there's the Ho'oponopono which is the beautiful beautiful um Hawaiian prayer I, I think you would call it a prayer 
and it's um it's very simple but it's very powerful and whatever situation or person has caused you pain you look at it and say i'm sorry forgive me thank you i love you and that's it them four simple statements and keep doing this over and over again until you actually feel it you know because you are actually giving them the gift you are releasing them by letting them go with love but you are also giving your yourself the gift as well and you are taking that gun down that you've been holding at your own head for so long you know so this is saying don't hang on to any pain that is not needed it's time now to bring peace within yourself and peace within the world you know go out today and do something kind for somebody whether that is a stranger or what because they will be feeling it too it's not just about you this is about the whole this is about all of us coming together and people are it's scared and scared being scared segregates people and we don't want to talk to our neighbor we don't want to talk to that homeless guy on the street because society has told us you know that we should be scared of him how scared do you think he is he doesn't know where his next meal is coming from he doesn't know where he'll be sleeping that night you know so it's not just the fear within us you know it's the love within us that we need to extend to everybody so do something kind today it doesn't have to cost you money because people say i can't do anything about this and it's like yes you can you can always be kind we have a choice to do that and in any situation and every single day we have a choice to be kind and you don't know how that could change another person's life that simple act of kindness that you do even smiling at somebody that person could be having the worst day and you smile at them and that could change their day it could make them believe that the world is a nice place because all of us are trying to be led to believe people want us to believe that it's scary and they want us to believe that it's not beautiful but i know by the messages that i get every single day i know when i go out in the street and the people i meet even the ones in fear i see the beauty in them and i see the beauty that all of us hold within within us and we just need to spread that and it's all about spreading the love it's not fighting for peace it's peace and for peace okay this is what we need to do and when we do this from ourselves when we are in inner peace this is when we are more equipped it, that is our ammunition these soldiers getting all their guns and everything getting all their ammunition on them all they need to do is open their heart you know and this is what we need to do and this is what we need to teach because we are all students and we are all teachers you know and there are things like this these are our biggest lessons you know can you come from a loving place when you are feeling hurt and scared yes you can oh and i'm only saying that because i've done it and i continue to do it you know and i'm not the only one and i learned from teachers who taught me how to do it you know and it's not easy because our ego doesn't want that our ego likes to keep us scared because our ego it, it keeps us segregated and our ego is like you know right okay it keeps us separate we're not meant to be separate we're meant to be whole you know and it's like you know, <laughs> and it's like you know the ego when dia says it's edging god out now i don't believe in god as a person or whatever but i feel it is an energy there which we we all have and we all feel you know and when we go into our ego which is our fear our hate our jealousy our all of this we are edging that god out whatever your god is you know so bring it back in you know it is love every single religion is based on love in the core and then man changes it okay so let us as man okay let us as human beings bring it back to the way it was meant to be because love is the answer all of the time sometimes the question is irrelevant but love is always the answer and if you are coming from a place of love no matter what is happening in your life you will get through it better okay and that i, I promise you that i promise it come from a place of love pure love doesn't hurt you know and when you can love your enemy you know that's when you have taken a massive massive step 
on your spiritual journey. You know? So I love that card. And then today, again, we have the Osho Zen, the, the harmony. We had this just two days ago, and this is about love and meeting souls and karmic connections. And this is saying, you know, when, when your heart is in this meditation where it's getting fed, you know, then nothing is forced. You don't have to grasp at anything because you know that you are living in abundance. And this is the Ten of Cups in normal tarot. So this is about abundance, but it's about having a happy family. It's about idyllic relationships. It's about having the perfect lover, you know. But we have this in the world, you know. We are all one big family, you know, and we need to pull together here as well. And it's listening, it's tuning in, it's listening to spirit you know and it's actually going out into the world and spreading love as well because this is a beautiful experience when you do that you know when you look into somebody's eyes that you've done something for and they didn't ask for it and they kind of repay you but you see how much that's changed you couldn't put a price on that you couldn't you know so if we have a look at this as well it's these dolphins as i said the other day they merge from the heart center and they go straight into the third eye and they're making an arc here, you know, and this is the playfulness that they have, you know, they come with intelligence and they are very emotionally intelligent animals, but they also love to play exactly like us. They are the nearest mammals to what we are, you know, their brains. And when we, this comes, because when we can connect with our heart, you know, we can move in the world in a better way. We can dance through the world. We can sway through the world where we don't cower in the world. So this is saying, let yourself be soft now. Let yourself be more receptive. If you let this world make you hard, it's won. You know, these arseholes, these, these ignorant, scared little people have won if you let this make you hard, you know. So be soft. When you're soft, you are open to anything and nothing can break you. When you are hard and rigid, you will snap easily, you know. So be soft, then you are flexible because there is joy waiting for you. There is joy just around the corner and it's coming. And I feel for some of you, there is a big love coming. You know, I really, really do because this is what the cards are saying. This is the energy that's there now. And nobody can point you in the direction of it. You might not even be able to understand or explain or put into words what it is, but you will feel it and you will feel that shift within you. And then you will be able to go out in the world and make a shift and make your little bit of difference because every, every single one of us is here to make a difference and we can if we choose the choice to be kind every single day and to come from a love base. This, this is deep within your heart. This is there. That love is there. It is ready for you now to open it up and to use it. It's always been there. You just forgot. And you forgot where it was, you know, and I'm telling you now it's in your heart. So open it. Imagine either a pink or green light emitting from your heart now. You know, see it raise, see it move on and you will instantly start to feel better, you know. And every time you feel that scared, you just turn back into that and turn that green or pink light on and see them raise, you know. And that is when you will know that you are actually sort of working with your heart and working in the way that you are meant to as well, you know, because every single one of us is here to experience love. We're here to experience what love isn't as well, but love is our birthright, you know, and whether we didn't get it off our parents or whatever, that doesn't matter. We cannot play the victim, we are victors, you know, and by bringing love in, so many people have this story, but this was what happened to me when I was young, and it's like, yeah, well, thank your parents for that because look at how strong it's made you and look at the path it's put you on. So like I say, find this, find this in you to remove them from your heart, send them away with love and then that space that is in your heart that is, you know, that you haven't been using because you haven't been able to send love to it, that will be free for something that will love you back to come in. Okay? Every single one of us has been hurt or betrayed or whatever. And, you know, that's not saying I'm not sympathetic. 
You know, I'm empathetic. I felt it. I felt it myself. But no, that is something that none of us can bypass. It is going to happen to every single one of us. So realise it's not all about you. It's about everybody. And sometimes talking to somebody else can actually make you feel better. So this is about, you know, when you're feeling helpless, help someone. That is when you will get help. That is when you will get healed. You know, every single one of us can help another person every single time of day. Okay? So the Colette Baron Reed card that I pulled is Imagine. Look at this. I mean, these cards today are, are, are beautiful. And if we think of the John Lennon song, you know, what a beautiful song. Absolutely amazing. There was a girl I went to school with um, and I went sort of through high school with her and she was deaf. Uh, and it was one day I was talking to her. We met up again on social media. It's about seven years ago, eight years ago now. Um, and she said something about music and she said, I'm sitting on the tube and I'm thinking if I like music, what music would I, I like? And music is just a, a, a massive part of my life. And I went like, what do you mean? You've never heard music. I went, you've, you've spoken to me. We spoke and she went, yeah, I had hearing aids and I lip read. She said, but the hearing aids don't allow me to hear the tone of music. So I've, ne I've never ever heard music and she was 40 year old. And I actually, that was a massive profound moment in my life because I actually burst into tears because instantly my life flashed before my eyes without music in it, okay? Music has been my friend in my darkest times. It's made me happy. It's cradled me. It's been my parent, my lover. It's been everything music to me in my life, you know. And if if I hadn't had that, I to think of my world without that, it 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 blew my mind. And I sent her a message and I said thank you. You know, I said yeah, you have given me the biggest lesson of gratitude that I have ever had in my life. And I sat that day, I took the day off and I sat and I put all of my favourite songs on. I had a bottle of wine as well and I put every single one of my favourite songs on and I listened. I really, really listened. It wasn't just on in the background, I wasn't just tapping my feet. I listened to every single note in them songs and I sat and I sobbed and I sobbed and I sobbed with gratitude and with love that that was something that had been in my life. She then got in touch with me. Um, about six months later and said, Tanya, they're going to give me the operation. I'm going to be able to hear again for the first time ever in my life at 40 year old. And I was like, that is absolutely amazing. And she said, but I know how important music is to you. And I remember the conversation we had and I would like you to, sorry, I get a bit emotional with this. Um, I would like you to pick the first song that I would will ever listen to. I was like, I mean, what, you know, how, how, how much of an honour is that? But how scary is that? You know, it's like, you don't, you, you don't know. And so I checked into Spirit and I said, please, what song should I give her? And they said, imagine John Lennon. And that was it. And she now has a book out and it's a bestseller. And her life has changed beyond measure. And she's travelling around the world, helping bullying charities and you know, everything like that. She is, she is, her life has changed beyond measure and her um, biography is called Imagine, you know, so I'm like massively, deeply humbled. But to me, it was the words. I hear their notes and, you know, it's been played to death, but you hear their notes and it still touches people, okay? So that's it. Remember the words of Imagine here and remember how, you know, that tiny little thing talking to somebody, like I say, give me the massive gratitude and change the way I looked at something I had taken for granted. So this is what I'm saying by taking that chance with a stranger. You know, you don't know how your life can, can change. And this, if we have a look at it, look at the light in that, you know, look at the healing in that card. And this has taken us... This has taken us up a vibration and this is what happens when we come from a place of love. They've, they've, done, they've done studies where, you know, loads of people meditate together and the crime rate drops, you know. 
So we can all do it. We can all play our little part in getting peace into this world as well. And this is saying you do that by being real, okay? You do that as well. This is saying imagine your dreams. You know, imagine your dreams coming true because they can. Because now it's a time to stop daydreaming, to start doing. Go beyond illusion and into sort of fruition. <coughs> Make things happen. Especially in relationships. This is it. It's like, you know, don't be sitting like the wallflower now. Get out there. You know, if you're sitting thinking, well, I'm all alone and I'm single. It's like, yeah, when was the last time you were out to meet somebody? When was the last time you actually put yourself forward? You know, and this is what you need to do because we're talking here about manifestation. Imagine this is what we do in our head and our thoughts can become reality. You know, what we think about, we bring about. So this is saying, you know, think about what you want in your life. Think about how you want the world to be. Don't sit and watch the news and then focus on how horrible the world is because that is what you will get back. Look for the helpers and look at what you can do to help. You might not be able to help that horrible situation that's going on, but you can help the situation on your doorstep, you know, and you can offer kindness to everybody that you meet. Your life will change with that. You will change for that. You know, the second we let love take over our being, and that's who we are. You know, we become a person of love who emits love from our pores on a daily basis. Our life changes. The world we inhabit changes. And then we can actually go on and change the world. And like I say, a lot of people from the soul tribe will gravitate to you when you do this. It's like you're putting that call out. You know, you're putting that call out, you know, when you open your heart to say, I want my tribe to come in. You know, and that's it. And they're just sitting waiting for the call as well. You know, everybody's just sitting waiting. So this is why we need to start doing. And if you believe this can happen, so many people say, oh, well, I want that, but it will never happen. You know, it'll never happen if you think like that. You need to believe it. Once you believe it, that is when you will see it. OK, so keep your thoughts loving today. Like I say, help where you can be kind. And don't let anything get you down, you know. Give gratitude, give forgiveness and give love to any situation that actually has been causing you pain. And you will feel that pain start to go, okay? You will feel that shift and you will raise in vibration and your life will change. And that is a promise, okay? And I never ever make a promise that I can't keep. But when you're coming from that place, that is what happens. That There it isn't anything else that can happen. That is what happens, you know. And notice the little things today as well. Because sometimes them little things can be huge things to other people, you know. So I hope that made sense. I'm sorry, I feel like I give a lecture or something there rather than a tarot reading. But that was the messages that, that came through with it. And, you know, it's... Very, very emotional reading. Uh, there, there's a lot of emotions coming coming through with it, you know. And yes, life can be hard at times, but it can also be very, very beautiful. You know, it's just, you just need to open your eyes and see that, okay? And let, open your heart and let that love in. So if anybody would like a reading with me, please get in touch via my website. The link is below. Um, if you go on the book and schedule, it's very easy to, to do. Uh, next week is getting pretty full up already so if you do want to read in next week then I would suggest that you do it sort of sooner rather than later and um, I just want to say you know like let love come to you today you know or go out and find it or whatever but find it within yourself find yourself find it within yourself to forgive today and send love to to anybody that really needs it, you know, because those that are filled with hate, they, they need it more. Okay. I'm sending a lot of love to everybody here. Like so, so much love. My heart is like, I'm surprised you can't even see it. It feels like rays at the moment. Okay. Sat down. <laughs>